What's up, y'all? I'm uh, currently looking for a spot to park to film my uh, holiday stealth challenge 2023. I think that's what it needs to be named. But it's from, um, what is it, Kevin's Camping Adventure, I think it is now. It used to be the Backyard Camper or Backyard Hiker. So I'm going to go walk around, y'all, get some daytime footage and uh, let some of these people leave. And then I'm going to come and uh, get my backpack. But yeah, just enjoying it. I'm just a tourist. The way I want to go is back over that way. Here's the state capitol where all the crooks are at. One of my first or second videos I've ever done on YouTube was filmed right over there with my uh, Gocher 10 car rod. Oh crap, that's mushy. But yeah, this is for the December um, Stealth Camping Alliance channel. All the whistling ducks and then little big Canadian goose, I think that is. Well, hey buddy. Hey. Hey. Whoa, he's nice. Oh, oh, you bucking up? Enjoy your nature. What? <laughs> he is attacking me. Ow. Ow. Hey, 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 hey. Ow. Hey, we, we good. We good. We good. <laughs> we good. Right view of where I want to go at. So, this building is like the treasury and then the, um, the Department of Justice and back there in that low corner there's a little bit thicker woods and I want to go there little birds painting the ground oh I'm lucky I just walked under there in the most Louisiana thing possible the lake right next to our capital you you can't eat any of the fish because it has high PCBs and in, in all fish species so yeah the most Louisiana thing possible I, I kid you not capitals right there and we have a contaminated lake right next to it. Louisiana at its finest. There's the capital on that. Well, and then I'm going to go up on there once some people aren't there so I don't look like a weirdo. Pretty flower. If anybody knows, is that a azalea? It looks pretty as hell. I'm going to leave it there. But there's another one. Is spring already here? It's late December. That's crazy. If spring's already here. So we just finally got some winter. Oh, a roundabout. Y'all know I've been on the hunt for a good roundabout. But this one has absolutely no cover. So y'all, I want to thank my mother-in-law and father-in-law, Miss Lloyd, Miss Penny. This is one of the Christmas gifts they got me for Christmas. Duh. It's a thermodrop to where I can more accurately know the coldest and hottest temperature while I camp, just to give y'all a little bit more information. It's mainly for backpacking, but since it's going to be cold tonight, I want to know how cold, you know? But yeah, thank you, Miss Penny and Miss Lloyd. I really appreciate it. There's a pretty view of the Capitol. And I think this is the armory, I think. Look like these bushes look good for a stout camp. Super, super thick. Once you get in, you're in like Flynn. If that's it, you can get in. Oh no, they ain't no getting into that. So what I'm standing on is a, a ceremonial Indian mound. One of a group of mounds probably constructed about AD 1000 during the Coles Creek culture period. Oh, that's a pretty view. Cool looking cannon. Whoa, over Capitol Lake. <laughs> what a cool little mural all the military folks from back in the day on the horses. To the planes and stuff. This is pretty cool. This is definitely new. You can see the concrete. I'm surprised they don't have a plaque. Oh, let me see over here. Speak of the devil. Oh, the Heritage Monument. 
This monument honors the brave service and sacrifices of all African American veterans and their families from Louisiana nationwide. It's hard to only give one thing that you're grateful for, but being that I turned 37 a month ago and, um, you know, I kind of waited till late in life to have a little kid for reasons. I'm sure if you watch my videos, you probably know. But anyway, I'm grateful that my grandparents and Lucy has a great grandparent that can be in Lucy's life, you know? It means a lot, you know what I mean? And I hope she they stay around long enough for her to remember them, but she'll always be in their hearts. And I know that's sentimental, but it's something I'm grateful for, you know? That uh, they get to be in my uh, baby's life, you know? sentimental stuff boo so the game plan i'm looking across to the casino where i car camped i might go check out over there but they got a lot of people parked over there but this parking lot looks pretty good it don't have no no parking signs so i think i'm good you know but i'm gonna start heading over that way so i have a little daylight to find my spot so I've done a stealth camp when the river is crazy high, right over here, and there's a, um, a little landlocked pond I want to take a look at. But it was so high, y'all. I was back here in the woods, and if the tide would have came up, I would have been pretty, or if the river would have came up, it was about 10 foot away from me. It was like having beachfront property, with the risk of it getting high on you. Another thing I'm grateful for is to have a good relationship with my parents, you know. Not everybody can say that, you know, but I feel like I'm on pretty good ground with mom and pops. Holy smokes. The pines are low. Oh, this is this one's almost gone. Oh, this one's actually got a little. This one looks like it would almost be worth fishing. Maybe not. It looks like the only thing that'll probably be here is garfish. So I'm about to head out, y'all. Also, I want to thank for this video. So I don't have the Haven hammock with me. I have my little uh, Walmart Eno. But my sister-in-law and brother-in-law gave me the... um. The one tigress night defender i think it is like under quilt so this is gonna be my first time ever using an under quilt and also i got my 35 degree sleeping bag with me i have my mosquito net with me but i hope to not use it it just makes it easier to pack up and just to have the wind you know hopefully but i have it with me if need be but let me get to going because i got a little bit to walk to my spot also on this episode, I have something new to eat. I've had many backpacking meals, but I've never had one like this. So I'll show y'all. Hopefully it's got a good flavor. Because I didn't bring no Tonys or Cajun Two-Step with me. Man, the GoPro makes it look like it's super light outside. But uh, as you can see, all the street lights are out. All right. Oh, the Outdoorsman almost made a big mistake, y'all. So I got about a half mile that way. And something made me to remember my hammock straps are in the side door of my car. So back at the car we are. Can't have a hammock without straps. Shucks. <laughs> Always forgetting something. Damn, no Christmas lights, but it was pretty when it had it. This is the Claiborne building, I think. And uh, the insurance building or something like that. And then... A little further is um, like defense or something like that. By the time this video is over, y'all gonna be tired of seeing the Capitol building, but it's cool looking. And a little side note, it's the tallest Capitol building in the United States. You gotta do a little mountain climbing to get down here, but I'm almost to my spot. Hopefully I can find the right trees. Because I came here about two weeks ago and couldn't find a flat spot with my tent. 
So I have returned. So y'all, this is... Y'all have seen me in my Eno hammock before, but uh... I put the, um, in my hotel room, I put the underquilt on it already. And packed it all up just ready to go. So yeah, it's pretty cool old camo color. Once again, thank you, Lord and Cheyenne, but let me get to putting it up. So this is the hammock with the new underquilt. Hopefully, this tree looks alive, but like it dropped its leaves, but it's a little wiggly, so. Yeah. When stealth camping, you just gotta find the trees you can get. But, um, let me, let me try to get in it. So it worked, and I didn't fall down. But I don't quite think the Eno and hammock is the hammock for this one. I think the Eno hammock is a double hammock, and I think this is made for a single. But I do have my eye on kind of the um the one tigress compound hammock to go with this and just keep this all together, you know. But yeah, um, let me get my stuff over here and I'm gonna start cooking dinner. Got me a nice flat spot right there. So this is what's for dinner tonight. I've had a bunch different from these and my wife likes them. So does Eric. It's a wild mushroom fettuccine alfredo. And this time, so it calls for one and three, four cups of water. I'm going to put one and a half so it's not soup. They always seem to tell you to put more water than you need. <coughs> but this is my little cooking station. The flattest I can get stuff. As you can see, everything's like riffraff that they ripped up the streets and just threw it on the bank. But got the hammock set up. About to have a step two and about to get dinner done. Looks like every other noodle meal with a couple um, mushrooms added in. Let me take out my dad's favorite part of the meal, the silica packet. <laughs> but yeah, I had to kind of prop my pot up against a rock because nothing's flat around here and I don't want to spill boiling hot water on me. So yeah, at least it smells good. It smells cheesy. Another thing I'm grateful for y'all is uh, the viewers that watch this. Thank y'all. You'll make a brother feel good and make me push me to do cooler things and go out of my box and film better videos. So yeah, I'm grateful for y'all the viewers. Ah, uh, y'all. Oh crap. It's had time to thaw not to thaw. It's had time to um cool off. It's rough trying to film yourself. Anybody that does YouTube can can uh, sympathize with me. See, it smells good and I think I found the right amount of water you do about a half well a quarter less so uh, it smells good this is a lot of food y'all I don't know if I can finish this this is beautiful y'all know mosquitoes my first time ever my first time hammock camping without my bug screen and also it's my first time ever um, hammock camping with an underquilt. Thank you again Lord and Cheyenne. It is a summer underquilt by one tigress but like with sleeping bags and stuff here we don't get too too much below freezing you know what I mean every blue moon we get in the in the 20s like tonight it's gonna be mid 30s but yeah speak of the devil I do believe once I start to go to sleep and turn off this headlamp that's that's lighting us up the handful of mosquitoes it ain't gonna be a biggie y'all but yeah this is pretty good I'll buy this again it is Alpine Air Wild Mushroom Fettuccine Alfredo and for once it has a good flavor like I don't need to throw Tony's on it also another thing I'm grateful for Kevin is uh, all the people who's donated to the channel I greatly appreciate y'all
between the viewers and the people donating makes me feel like I'm doing something right. But it's a pretty cool little camping spot. I'll show y'all see early in the video since some pictures at the state capitol. What we got coming down the pipeline? Uh, now that I have this underquilt, I already talked to my wife. Once we get out of Baton Rouge and stuff settles down before it's back hot, me and my wife are gonna go um, hiking probably to Tuxedo but I'm going to let her use my Haven hammock because I've had that to mid-30s and I trust it with a good sleeping bag. And I'm going to use this with my good sleeping bag. And uh, it'd just be something different. I've always tent camped to hike. So I'm going to see what the fuss is all about, what hammer and wrench life, you know, or hidden hammock life. It does have its pluses. Like right here, I have no spot to put a damn tent up. But generally, unless you're up in the mountains, you can find two acceptable trees, you know. The only thing is, like, I don't know, like, what my, what my backpack, but whatever, you know. And I feel like in a tent, you have more livable space. But yeah, this is pretty good, y'all. I'm putting a hurting on it. And also, where to put it at? Crap. Oh yeah, step two, son. Look, truly, Wildberry, Hard Seltzer USA. Oh, uh, a sponsor of USA Soccer. Oh, I hope I sleep good, y'all. I hope. The one thing that's kind of weird with a hammock, like, in my tent, I know, I lay down, just get on my mat and go. But, like, every time I fidget around, like, I don't stay still on my hammock. And I got to find that sweet spot, and then I can go to sleep. So that's the, just the learning curves of uh, hammock camping. All right, a little temp check, y'all. Look, 52 on the thermodrop. And uh, in the morning, I'll let y'all know what temperature it got down to. Man, the meal was good. I'm uh, just trying to start to settle in and and chill out for the night. I may answer some YouTube comments, and uh, I'll most likely catch y'all in the morning unless something eventful happens. But yeah, <laughs> just I was I had a big internal debate of whether to keep my shoes on. Or whether to take them off so I decided to take them off because I'm kind of in an isolated spot you kind of have to come looking here to find here but yeah that was one of the things when y'all stealth camp do you leave your shoes on or do you take them off like if you had to roll out that's one more thing you gotta rush to get on as your shoes and stuff so but yeah I just didn't want to get my dirty shoes and um you know my sleeping bag so yeah well, yeah, about to chill and, and play on my phone and relax and enjoy this full moon, as you've probably seen in this thumbnail. And, um, yeah, I'll catch y'all in a little bit. Oh, this is one of the more picturesque uh, stealth camping spots. I get the, the Capitol Lake and I get to see the moon. It's one of them. This, if I get a good night's sleep, this is about as perfect of a stealth camp as it gets. I'm grateful, hey, this will be the last what I'm grateful for. I'm grateful I uh, spent another day above the ground. But not that we bury our dead down here in southeast Louisiana or south Louisiana. The water table's too high, so we got to put them above ground. So, yeah. But I'm happy I, I was alive another day. You know, grateful for that. Thank you for making this challenge, Kevin. Oh, man. So right now, y'all, I'm using my um, my 35 degree Big Agnes Sidewinder. It's it is a um, a mummy like side sleeping bag, but it actually acts as like um 
like a top quilt you know the foot box like it zips to about right there and then I have everything you know um, unzipped and just tucked on the side of me and I'm as warm as can be I think I'm gonna sleep like a, a bug in a rug y'all but yeah this is just just trying to make the equipment you have work for the stealth camping you, you know you this is my big sleeping bag I don't own any sleeping bags that's warmer than this you know so hopefully it works but right now I'm pretty comfortable just relax oh I'm warm and since I am in southeast Louisiana and I am a ninny when it comes to cold I have like two hand warmers in my pocket just in case and also under here somewhere I have my uh, Thermarest um, reactor extreme in case I need another little bump in the uh, in the heat spectrum I can just lay it over me and it'll lock in the heat and this is pretty cool because the under quilt is uh, you know it's insulating your bottom and then you just lay this over the side but yeah it's pretty cool and I got my little Saints Nick cap on and uh, I got a um, down jacket on so I should be warm but yeah just trying out new uh, gear setups with pre-existing gear. Well, good morning, folks. Um, I woke up sporadically out during the night, but that's normal while stealth camping. Um, time to start picking up, and I'll turn y'all back on when I'm starting to head out. It's kind of chilly right now. Another plush haul, and just like that, I just stuffed everything in my bag. I'll deal with it after after I get home today. But uh, just quick pickup. It was five minutes. No poles, no nothing. Just hit. And I didn't forget my straps for once. That's always a lovely thing. But yeah, leave no trace and uh, let's roll on. The only downfall of this spot is the mountain climbing you gotta do to get in and out. Kind of sucks with the backpack. So it got down to 44, y'all not quite as cold as it was supposed to be but it was still kind of chilly because it had like a 10 miles per hour wind and the last thing i'm grateful for y'all is i'm grateful for the stealth camping alliance you know they help put eyeballs in front of my videos It's about that time in the video, y'all. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch y'all on the next adventure. Outdoorsman out.